kitchen is uh, inspired from the Mughal architecture and the, one of the best Mughal architecture we have in India is the Taj Mahal. How you see Taj Mahal in the night? So you will see that all the mores, all the artworks what I've taken it from is coming from the actual Taj Mahal <coughs> architecture. And this is a collection which is a tribute to a woman of exotic beauty who is very classical in her approach but yet modern. So you will see the kind of fall leather coming in. It's it's been blended with the rich Indian weave, but yet the feel of modernism has come together with the palazzo, what you have seen in the collection, the fall leather, the technology has come in with the laser pattern or so it's a beautifully technology meets tradition kind of a collection. Thank you. Uh, moving to Neha, Neha would like to say a few words about what you might have seen. First of all, I would like to congratulate each one of you, lovely collections, all of them and uh, especially for Prem when he told me that this collection is inspired from the Taj Mahal. So I was like after Sunona Sangye Marmar again there's another thing which reminds me of the Taj Mahal, I'm super excited. Um, obviously I'm very very nervous while walking the ramp, that's always there. So um, it was uh, a mixed feeling of excitement and nerves and it was a lot of fun. Moving to Amal Raj, Amal would you like to say a few words about the collection, what the inspiration was? The collection is called Urban Newton. Uh, I'm doing this show in Lakhna for two years, so it was quite a pressure on me to give up a good show. So it's about environment, it's the future, what's going to happen, like too much of pollution happening in the country, so people are going to wear masks in the future. So the masks that I've used over here is because to represent that. And the entire collection is made really mostly out of khadi. There's a lot of protective wear, so you can see a lot of leather patches in your elbow, knee. So it's more of a protective wear because the future is going to be very harsh on us because of the pollution that is going to happen. So it's part of the pollution. Thank you so much. Moving to you, Ijwal, would you like to talk about your line after Agni and also what has been the inspiration today? So, uh, the collection is called See the Line as Please. This is a kind of progression in my business plan, which is called Half Light. So, uh, it mostly started with black, and this time I wanted to go with ease and you know, feel that situation of farm and farmer life. Go towards, you know, I feel everything is going back now. It was a little bit of a we were all at the cheese, everything is all fine. Now we're going back, and I need the basics of life. And now I took back, although I thought back was always easy and classic. But after working on it, I realized that it's huge and strong and mighty. So yeah, and I started to the mind of it and I had to break it through different colors also. And uh, yeah, and keeping these uh, basics intact, like using the, the raw khadi and uh, pure cottons and you know, the raw feel of it, with the sheen of, with the metal sheen of leathers, it worked very well. Thank you, Ajay. So we say you find that it could be related to somewhere in the north of Afghanistan or something. They are of course lighter colour, but they are closer there. But uh, the texture and the uh, weight of it uh, looks like the mount clothes. So they are not, I won't say it's only clothes, but yeah, they are related to the not in our symbol, it's not pretty. But they are like some camping in the plains and the desert areas, which quite represent the same philosophy as mine. And I'm always influenced by the nature, right? Like on first collection, I've been doing more of Ghani stuff and you know, I'm towards that uh, direction. And that's how it goes. So, so I told you, kind of progression towards my coming mm -hmm. my previous answer. Right. All right, so you started the marathon on the ramp, so this was nice. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> and you should have been a show starter and a stopper because you really started the show when you came on. And it was great. Can I just uh, tell you, you have a sense of humor rocking? Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, but I think they did say that uh, Taj Mahal, which has a serene atmosphere than that, but you did devise that it could be the other way around too. But the Taj Mahal is there, you could run for it and be happy. Yeah, you know, anything that's so stunning brings joy to everyone. I think you can hear me. Um, so I just feel that, uh, you know, something that's so beautiful and so lovely, and it's a monument of love, so let's <laughs> celebrate it. So we were kind of celebrating it. Very good, that's what I thought. Yes. That's what people should do. Yes. Uh, yes. A designer sometime back has depicted uh, some, some of the designers have. And uh, uh, of course, uh, they had different combinations also as keeping the completely uh, mouth shut on. That was there also. But uh, if you have that in mind, it's like, you know, letting us know that the room is very near. And 
You know what I call it? I call it uh, a bundle of nerves because honestly, as an actor, it's very. Are we waiting for something? As an actor, it's quite different to walk the ramp. So I was very excited. So that's why the ramp walk, you can call it different. Was it difficult to give a new makeover to me? Yeah, I mean, as you said, I mean, that her song or that Sunil song is one of my favorite. I, I even heard the Bengali version of it. I even heard listen to that one. So. I mean, I could easily relate with her. So that a beautiful woman, as I said, that my collection is a, a, a tribute to a woman who is exotic beauty, have a classical approach, but yet have a modern approach to her lifestyle. So I fit her exactly the best. So it was a wonderful thing for me to take her and got a Bihari connection for her. <laughs> She's from my home state, so it was wonderful to connect with her and get her in my collection. It looked wonderful. Being a Bollywood celebrity, will you define fashion in Bollywood specifically? For me, fashion is wearing clothes that you're comfortable with. I can't really wear anything that I don't feel comfortable in. So when he, you know, showed me his collection, I just felt that this outfit was something that I could wear off the ramp and feel comfy and not feel conscious. So that's fashion for me. Being, uh, you know, like with the trend, but not going out of your way, wearing something which you're not comfortable in. They're all my babies. I, I love all of them. That's the. That's all I can say. Great. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Thank you.